flowers. Chuff to bits when you do. Too. It gives me the heebie-jeebies, that squirting noise. Oh, sorry, is it upsetting your reading? Me slaving to put another barrel on so a load more dosh can land in your sticky little hands? Hey, less of the sticky, if you don't mind. You look worn out. I'm fine. Why don't you take the night off? I don't want the night off. Mum and Tina can manage. Well, I'd rather work if it's all the same to you. Yeah, they'll be quiet. It's Monday night. Oh, I'm fine as I am. OK. You're up to something. No, I'm not. What are you doing now, Mum? Nothing. So why are you so keen to give him the night off, then? Because I think he looks tired, that's all. <laughs> right, I need to run a few errands for half an hour. Can you hold the thought for me? What errands? I'll see you later. She's definitely up to something. How's she take it? Well, she was disappointed, but I'm not going to lie to her if I think she's making a mistake. It's not like I'm going to change my mind. Even if she does not marry him, I'll never trust him again. Maybe you should leave it to her. She's old enough to know what she's doing. Had you surprised yet? What? No, obviously not. It's worth waiting for. She's quite a girl, that Kylie, when she wants to be. <laughs> what, what, what do you mean by that? I, I, nothing. Can't tell you. I mean, she'd kill me. Have fun. So, you popping in tonight? Oh, uh, I don't know why. Well, I'm going to tell Carl I want to set a date for the wedding. What, in front of everyone? Well, I had hoped it'd just be family, but Carl wants to work. All right. Hi, big man. What's up with him? Nothing. Gets like that sometimes. So, will you be giving me some moral support, then? Look, Mum, I, I want you to be happy. It's just... Well, then, come. I can't. I can't stand there smiling, watching Carl behave like nothing's happened. Yeah, well, that's all in the past now. Well, it's not far enough in the past for me, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. This is most irregular closing area. You need a break. You're getting obsessed. I need to keep an eye on what's going on in there. What you need is a drink. A real one. Oh. Oh. Alcohol, the great escape. Oh, we have to get out, Roy. It's like being under house arrest in there. We are going to be a normal family, having a normal evening, talking about normal things. What is normal, exactly? Well, what's in the news? What the local gossip is. And what people are watching on television. As I say, escape. <laughs> Eat them greens if you want to grow up like Wayne Rooney. Why are you dressed up? Cos Mum is taking David away for the night for, like, a little holiday. Show him how much I love him. Can I come? No, not this time, babe. I'm going to be looking after you while Mum is away. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow night. Are you going to the seaside? No, I'm going to a little country cottage. So it'll be boring for you. I'll give you a ring before you go to bed, OK? I think he was hoping for a stick of R.O.C.K. there. Well, I'm sure if we pass a GIFT shop along the way. <laughs> That's if we get out, that is. <laughs> what time are you going? Well, when he gets back, well, I thought he'd be home by now. I'll give him a ring, see where he is. Don't want to leave it too late. Can't wait to see his face when I tell him. Have you never heard of noise pollution? It's bad enough when people shout into mobile phones in public, but at least they're using them. I mean, to let it just ring like that was... Well, it's decadent. Well, I could wedge it down your throat, if you like, and kill two birds with one stone. And they say human time is evolved. <laughs> <laughs> Have you called the exorcist in yet, Roy? Ignore it. Is this why we came out to be ridiculed in public? Come on, there's a booth free behind us. Chin up. Ignore the rabble. What was that about? Have you not heard? We've got a ghost in the cafe. No way. <laughs> oh, yes. Someone's put the evil eye on Roy, all right. <laughs> <laughs> what would I do without you? Well, you didn't have any better ideas. How many times have you been married and this is the best you can come up with? Hello, what's this? Nothing. Don't look at me. Well, something's gone off. And until someone tells me what, there'll be no peace for either of you. I'm waiting. Steve's got this brilliant theory. No, I haven't. Go on. That if you want a woman to do something, you have to let them think it's their idea. <sighs> Is that right? And does this involve me or Katie? Well? He wants a way out of living with Katie. <laughs> oh, no. 
now that is a surprise. Well, it's not that I don't like it. No, no, I know, love, no. It's just that you're a teeny bit fed up with the hard graft of serious relationships, aren't you? Especially ones that were never going to work in the first place had you only listened. So come on, what happened? I told her it's getting a bit crowded at ours, so she's going to ask Owen if we can move into his flat. <sighs> wow. That was a blinding bit of advice, that, Steve, wasn't it, eh? How to turn a mess into a catastrophe in one go. Why did you not just tell her the truth? Well, I I've tried to, I just don't know how. Emily said one went off in church last week. What's that, mate? Mobile phones, have you not been listening? Mm. Apparently, this chap was kneeling at the altar rail, just about to drink the wine, and he told the vicar to hang on, in case it was this emergency plumber he'd been trying to get hold of. Mm, well, good plumbers are to find, mate. And by this shepherd's pie, if I thought there was any sheep in it. Oh, I could have sworn I'd put this on silent. We all make mistakes, Norris. Uh, uh, hello? No, no, I do not wish to claim for any whiplash injuries. I don't even have a car. You OK? Oh, look who's rolled in. Decided to honour us with your presence, have you? Got back as quick as I could. Ah, oh, stealing from you as well now, from the look of it, Gloria. Mm. <laughs> hey, Tracy, did you hear about the bloke who couldn't pay the exorcist? No. What happened? He got repossessed! <laughs> <laughs> Can someone please remind me why we're doing this? Because it's better than being glued to the cafe where you punch at every sound. Quite different to listening to those two, then. <laughs> why did the ghost cross the road? I don't know, Beth. Why did the ghost cross the road? <laughs> to get to the other side. Mm. <laughs> it is her. What? Beth. She's behind all this. What on earth makes you say that? Well, I had that issue with Craig about the litter, you remember? This is her revenge. He wasn't the only one you had a go at. No, 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 but she's the kind to bear a grudge. She's the kind to find all this amusing. <laughs> How would she do it? Exactly. I don't reckon Roy's got a ghost of a chance of getting to the bottom of this. <laughs> well, that Beth is where I will prove you wrong. Oh, about time. What have you been doing back there, postnatal tummy exercises? If you think I'm going to let that money go, Tina. Oh, please. No, I don't want any arguments in here, thank you very much. You know, you're the one who got me in this fix. We want it back, sue me. <laughs> you don't know what's going to hit you, madam. All right, careful, Owen. Another one. Don't let anybody take the baby off you, all right? You gave birth to him and you carried him. If anybody comes between you... What's it to you, sunshine? Then again, depends whose it is. Man, you're going to pronounce on that, are you? I mean, you're the expert all of a sudden. What'll this cage? So what can I do for you, honey? Well, it was just to give you a heads up, really. Um, I'm going to tell Carl tonight that I think we should fix a date for the wedding. Well, I'm really pleased for you. Only I'm going to be doing it in the pub, so you might want to give it a swerve tonight. No, thank you. I appreciate that. I mean, it's not going to be a big announcement or anything. Just, well, that's it, really. Just short and sweet. I think you're doing the right thing. I want Carl to know that I'm... I'm really serious. It's always been in that's done the running before, so I thought, you know, I... So, um, well, have you fixed the date? Well, uh, I was thinking September, maybe. Don't want to hang around. Congratulations, really, and, um, thank you for telling me. Thanks, Dad. He's still not wrong. I'm gonna try the salon. Maybe he's gone for a drink. No, he never does that without telling me. Not unless we've had a row, anyway. Oh. And where have you been? Kylie's been worried about you. You two big mates now, are you? What? Anyway, I've got a surprise for you. That's funny. Because I've got one for you and all. Do you want to go first, or shall I? You're amazing, you know that. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? Anyway, mine's this. So you've been so brilliant just lately, like, looking after me and that. I've booked us a night away in a luxury cottage in Cheshire. And do you want to wear mine? Is that all you've got to say? Go on, then. 
Come this for you, David. That's your mummy in the cottage tonight. And that's the cat. There is no cat, Max. In stories, there's always a cat by the fire. Mummy's taking you because she loves you. Anyway, that's my surprise. It's there if you want it. What's yours? Um, I haven't got one. Then why say you had? Because I've seen you whispering to people these past few days and I thought you was up to something. So that's what all this has been about? You thought I was sneaking about behind your back? No, I, I just felt funny about it, that's all. Not like you, David. So, are we going to walk? It's nearly quarter past six already. Uh, yeah. Let's do it. Night on me, on me, you. What could be better? Hiya. Hi, love. What can I do for you? Well, I was wondering if, um, you'd let me and Ryan have the builder's yard flat. Oh. Well, what's wrong with Steve and Michelle's? Oh, it's a bit cramped. It's five of us. You mean you've overstayed your welcome? Kind of, yeah. Mm, that didn't say long. So can we? Yeah, no problem. Really? Yeah, 100 quid a week plus utilities. But we can't afford that. OK, well, how much can you afford? Well, I was hoping you'd let us have it rent free. <laughs> OK, well, let me get this right. So, you ignore my advice, you storm off because you know better, and then when things don't go according to plan, you come strolling back in here asking for the freebie. You let Tina do it. Yeah, well, that was different and you know it. Yeah, your dad's had a lot to pay out just lately. I know, but... Yeah. Thousands to create a grandson and thousands more needed to get him back. Plus, I'm owed money on this place. Why not come back and live with us? No way I'm having that waste from my property. You know what, love? Even if he could afford the rent, I wouldn't want him living in the flat, OK? So the answer is no. I told you it was worth waiting for, didn't I? <laughs> you have a fantastic time. You deserve it. You got him there, then? Eventually. <laughs> yeah, not the easiest guy in the world to fool. Yeah, he knew I were up to something. Nothing bad, though, eh? Oh, we'll have a good time, anyway. We will. And don't worry about anything this end. We've got it all under control. Bye. Drive. See ya. Pick another station, please. There you go. Final payment. Ah. What are you doing? Just seeing if it smells of rubber. Yeah, well, that won't bounce, I can assure you. Uh, much obliged. Yeah, we're doing OK since we're open, so I thought I'd get out of the way, you know. Thanks, Stella. All right, you were a receipt. Um, if there's any chance this could help take the heat off of Tina and Tommy. But, sorry, how do you, how do you mean? Well, look, they're finding it really hard at the moment, you know, so if you could just sort of cut a bit of slack on the money, there we are. You are? Uh, listen, I went down the bad guy here. I wasn't saying he was. If you and me are going to remain friends, I suggest we end this conversation now. <laughs> right. Well, if that's the way you want it. <laughs> Let him in. No. Yeah. Well, at least that I got to ask paying the legal fees. Well, two grand, love. Have you any idea how much a solicitor's letter costs? This is just a drop in the ocean. Well, how much more money are we going to need? Well, you know, I'll maybe I have to sell the flat. Oh, surely it's not going to come to that. It'll come to what it comes to, but I tell you what, I'm going to get my grandson back if it's the last thing I do. How'd it go? He's had no. That's terrible. Well, did he say why? No, he just threw it back in my face, ranting on about it, warning it won't work in the first place. He doesn't like Ryan, that's all. Not a lot of people do around here. Did you offer to pay rent? Yeah. Not that it would make any difference. I mean, we can't afford it anyway. Boy, I'm so popular. This isn't funny. I know, I'm just saying. I've just come to drop Joseph off. Oh, hi, sweetheart. What's up with you? I heard you talking to Owen in the pub. I didn't see you. Is it true that you're not welcome there anymore? <laughs> no. Then why did you say that you weren't? Oh, because I was trying to persuade him to let us have the flat. Because if you're not welcome, I'm not leaving Joseph. I don't want anyone taking it out on him. Well, they are welcome here. Yeah, we're just trying to lean on him. Steve and Michelle have been brilliant. Yeah, we love having him around, don't we, Steve? Yes, yes, we do, yeah. Sorry you got it wrong. That's what happens when you live apart like we do. Well, we chose it. Um, no, you don't. My treat, remember? <sighs> Keep the change. Oh, cheers, thank you. Oh, well, it might not be ours for real, but for one night we can dream. Hey, 
any clues about what your mother's up to? I think it's all in your head, babes. Oh, no. What's she doing here? Well, she's probably come to see Mum. It's legal, you know. Oh, hello. Hiya. Didn't expect to see you here. Yeah, well, I got to thinking and I thought it wouldn't quite be the same, would it, if I wasn't here to put the mockers on it for you? Well, it would be a bit of a culture shock. So here I am. Well, I really appreciate it. <laughs> mm, right, what can I get you to drink? Oh, just an orange juice tar. I've been uh, knocking it back a bit lately. Oh, right, we will have a glass of bubbly later, though. Oh, yeah, don't worry about that. Some orange juice. Off the booze. I bet she's pregnant. She's not got problems in that department. Well, that would explain the cloak and dagger treatment. Let's see. Say she fell last month, on it. That would say the baby's going to be born in February. Oh, might be the same day as you. Well, and that would make you a great grandma. Oh. <laughs> I told you there was something. Oh, this is nice. Just the two of us. That's better. I wish I could do that with Gail's stuff at home. Still, one day we'll have a place of our own that's just how we like it. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> we'll start or it'll get cold. I suppose all this is down to guilt. What is? All this. I told you it's to say thank you. That all? Well, I suppose part of me feels guilty, but that's not it. I'm doing it for us. Are you OK? You've been in a really weird mood all evening. Have I done something to upset you? Well, if you're worried how much this is costing, Nick helped me pay for it. What? I haven't broken the bank. I'm not worried about the money. Then what is it? If you're worried, just tell me. Ah. <clears throat> what? She's kicking. Come here. <laughs> That's your daughter. Everything you've ever wanted. Our own family, remember? Yeah, how could I forget? Sleep. Did you mean that, Katie? What you said to your dad about not feeling welcome here? No, no, I was just trying to persuade him. Right, because you know you're welcome to stay as long as you like, don't you? Yeah, thank you. Right, okay, well, uh, we'll leave you two to talk then. See you, kid. See you then. See you. See you. What? You are sorry we can't have my dad's flat, aren't you? Of course I am. You didn't look it when I told you. That's how I react sometimes when I get bad news. I kind of joke. It's kind of a nervous reaction. I didn't mean it. It just makes me wonder whether you're asking it or not. Well, it is. I really care about you. It's just I don't think we should rush things, that's all. So come on then. What other tips have you been giving Ryan on how to handle women? I haven't given him any. Well, at least I'm... Trying to get shot of him, you've just about told him they can live with us forever. Oh, well, what else was I going to do? You talk like I'm enjoying this. No, I don't. And do you know what? If you'd had a proper word with him, like I'd said in the first place, instead of putting stupid ideas in his head, then we could have been looking forward to seeing the back of him now. All right, I get the message. Haven't lost my touch. Mm -hmm. Right, shall we all adjourn over there? Who's the room with that? Oh, I'll we'll bring some glasses. And you, Carl. Oh. As you all know, Carl and I are engaged. And also, as you all know, we've been through a lot in these uh, last few months. But uh, now the worst is out of the way, I think it's about time we stopped faffing about Carl and fixed a date for the wedding. Hmm. Don't know what to say. Well, you can crack open this for a start. <laughs> well, nothing would give me more pleasure. I honestly don't know what I would have done without this man. Well, I would have died in the fire. 
not lost your touch, have you? Well, you didn't come up with a better explanation. Anyway, this is good news. This is what I've wanted. Hey, this is marvellous news. But when's it happening? I've got a whole wardrobe to plan. Well, um, I thought maybe September, if that suits. Well, sooner the better, as far as I'm concerned. OK, so shall we make a toast? If I may say so myself, to Carl and me. Mum and Carl. Carl and Stella. A peace man alive, eh, Carl? And the luckiest. This is cosy. Yeah. I wish you'd tell me what's wrong. I'm just tired. Let's go to bed. Come on, it's late. Um, I'll, I'll be along in a minute. I just want to make you happy, David. I love you. I'll, I'll see you up there. Don't be long. Well, stay with us here on ITV. Families reunited after years of being apart. Davina McCall and Nikki Campbell return with a brand new series of Long Lost Family next. <laughs>